Toronto, Shai Gilgis Alexander grew up watching NBA legends at Toronto's Scotiabank Arena. It's arguable he's on his way to becoming one himself. Gilgis Alexander scored 23 points with 8 assists and 7 rebounds as the Oklahoma City Thunder rolled past the hurting Toronto Raptors 123-103 on Friday. I grew up coming to games here, watching Chris Bosch and a bunch of NBA legends playing in this building, said Gilgis Alexander. It's always a surreal moment. Having my friends and family in the crowd is even more special. Gilgis Alexander entered the game averaging 30.9 points, 6.4 assists, and 5.6 rebounds per game for Oklahoma City, 48-20. He's shooting 54.4% on his field goal attempts, making him the most accurate guard in the NBA, and his two steals per game are the most in the league. He was officially given the Northern Star Award as Canada's best athlete in 2023 on Friday morning. A panel of sports media from across the country selected Gilgis Alexander as the awards winner in December but he wasn't able to actually receive the trophy until the Thunder's one and only trip north of the border this season. Chet Holmgren had a double-double with 18 points and 10 boards as Oklahoma City, 49-20, won its fourth straight. Jalen Williams added 20 points and Montreal's Lou Dort scored 10. Rookie Grady declared Toronto. 23 to 47 with 21 points. Kelly Olynyk of Kamloops, BC, had 16 points, 6 rebounds and 5 assists as the Ailing Raptors dropped their ninth game in a row. Toronto allowed season highs of 27 turnovers and 37 points off of turnovers. We want to win games, that's the number one priority, said Dick. But with me being the rookie and the new guy I'm thankful to be out there competing every night and just try my best to try to put us in position to win and do my part. Gary Trent Jr. was ruled out of Toronto's lineup before the game with lower back stiffness. His absence added to a long list of inactive Raptors players, including Toronto's entire starting lineup. The Raptors were already missing forward Scotty Barnes, left-hand fracture, center Jacob Poltile, left-hand torn ligament, forward guard RJ Barrett, personal reasons, point guard Emmanuel Quickly, personal reasons, forward Chris Boucher, partial MC Etier, and guard DJ Carton, right ankle sprain. In my 26, 27 years of coaching, I never saw anything like it, said Toronto head coach Darko Rajikovic of his team's raft of injuries. I don't think I saw it on other teams either. Although it seemed like a mismatch on paper, Dick scored 8 points in the first 6 minutes of the game for an 11-point lead. Toronto closed out the opening period on a 6-2 run to hold a 35-28 lead. Dick scored 13 points in the quarter, a career high in his first NBA season. The Thunder fired back with a 15-2 run to open the second and take the lead, 